aren't we? Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're probably already on. Hey, guys, this is May May. I'm a trusty sidekick. Oh, Vinny's here. And, hey, y'all. Shanae again. She hadn't quit yet. Never. <laughs> Never, never, ever. She hadn't quit yet. That's awesome. <laughs> then I haven't quit. <laughs> yeah. It's, I don't know how she's done it. I don't know. I don't think I could work with me. Um. <laughs> it's like working with my sister. <laughs> I hope that's a compliment. Yeah, I know it is. I know it is. It is. Hello, everyone. Look at all those beautiful folks in the chat. I'm looking at who's here today. I'm not going to let... What does that say? Is that Yes, the recipe stamp is in the store. It's called recipe builder um recipe card builder let me tell you about the stamp because i didn't want to do that over there because i didn't want to take up time in our crafter show so here's what it does these lines are made so that you can make a recipe card as large as six inches wide and if you if you wanted to do a four by six it's actually designed for that size card however you can do smaller recipe cards just your lines will go across the whole page does that make sense? Like if you cut a, a five by three, which is the standard card, I just think they're too small to write on. But if you cut a five by three, you can stamp this. The lines will just go off the card. But if you do a four by six, it'll be perfect. I just thought we needed a little more room. And here's what we did with this set to make it very usable. These lines, you guys have been asking me for lines forever. These are just the lines. Like this does not connect to anything else. And also I want you to see this. We did not give you a single line that you had to stamp mul multiple times because you know you can never get that straight. This is a set of lines on a single stamp. So you won't have to worry about getting them very straight. You should be able to, if you do it like I do it, peel this guy off, lay it on your work surface and then pick it up or put it in your, you're probably gonna put it in your Misty because you're gonna wanna stamp it multiple times. But that's the lines. Then this part up here, notice that it's got a line at the top and then it says servings and total time. The line at the top is where you write the recipe name. So you've got the word recipe and you stamp it right beside it and then that's where you write the name and then servings and total time. And then down here, my favorite part, this guy. I wanted to give you a tab that was so easy to do you didn't need any other tools. So here's what this is. This is made as a rectangle. So basically all you have to do is cut a rectangle and do a little nip in and a little nip in. It's kind of like our envelope please stamp set where it was just a, a square with a couple of nips and it gave you like the act of a die. Um, we do we have a we do have a um, SVG for this. There should be. Yeah. It may not be online yet because she didn't know because Sylvia didn't know I was putting it up yet. But I made this so that you would just cut straight down, straight across, straight up, straight across. And then all you have to do is nip in, fold it in half, and it's a double-sided stamped tab. Because I wanted it to have pattern on both sides. And then these words all fit inside here. So you'll be able to do, if you're doing pastas, you can stamp pastas on both sides. So no matter which way you have your box or your book or whatever you're using, you can see it on both sides. And we tried to give you everything we could think of. But you can always... Use your Cricut, your Joy, whatever, and make more words. If you Maybe if you wanted to do something very specific like crock pot meals, instant pot meals. Like if you wanted to get real specific, you could do that with like your Cricut. You also have ingredients, the word ingredients and directions. Because you'll, you'll stamp ingredients somewhere around these lines and directions somewhere around these lines. You'll build it the way you want it. And what I suggest, and Sylvia did this and it was really smart. Go to Pinterest and look up recipe cards and be inspired by how cute they are and you can build your own around it. Now these little images are just bonus images that I just thought were super cute and you needed them. The bowls, the little stacked bowls, the little mixer, which we all love, the little cupcake, the cake stand, a grater, a blender, and up here you got S&P, salt and pepper. We just thought that'd be cute for you to decorate with. So, Saturday's video, I just cannot wait for you to see it. It's gonna be fun. So that is available. You guys have been asking for it. This is the stamp set that has taken the place of, what was the one we vaulted, what's cooking? Yeah. Yeah. We, we, we decided y'all wanted this one instead. It would give you more room to work. Across the miles? Sure. Let's do some across the miles really quick because we don't have a lot. That's why it would be really quick. <clears throat> so this is for Meme from Addie. Let's read this. For Meme. Let me make sure there's nothing on here that I shouldn't show. Okay. These are some cards. We'll open those in a second. Here is another card. Let's check it out. It Oh, look how pretty this is. Let me make sure. Yes. 
May May. Hope these cards can be used in your ministry to bless all that receives. I just making cards last year. I love watching your video. I learned so much. I also watch your Sunday devotion. Always stay blessed, Addie. Thank you, Addie, for these beautiful cards. They will work perfectly. She just started last year, you guys. Look how good. I love I love this because okay, how many of us seasoned card makers didn't make this many in our first year? You know, like when we first got started, we were probably too scared. I remember being pretty intimidated. Like, and I remember a specific friend of mine, I won't say his name, telling me, <laughs> I'm just not, I'm not able to design cards. And I'm like, yes, you are. Because he was into ATCs and I'm like, they're just ATCs, just bigger. <laughs> and so I remember being very intimidated. So to be able to do this in your first year, this is amazing. That's so pretty. That's very masculine. I love that. Oh, look. Hey, that's, is that from the man book? I think that car is. I think I've seen it before. Very good. Thank you so much for these. Oh, I love that. That's so cute. Very good job, Addie. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. You're doing a great job. I'm telling you, a lot of people, and a lot of people watching today would agree. Their first year, they did not push out that many cards. Put those back in there safely. I've been here longer than a year, and I haven't done that many cards. No, and you make samples and stuff with me. Oh, wow. This is gorgeous. Have you seen this card? Oh, here's the envelopes for this. This is stunning. Look at this card. Who did this? Michelle Kern. Look what she did. So this is gold metallic paper with the B from um, the stamp set that comes with the, what is that called? Oh, Tell the Bees? Tell the Bees. And it's embossed in black. Oh my goodness. This is the paper pack called Tell the Bees. This is absolutely stunning. So pretty. It says, the entire staff at May May Made It, you are the bee's knees. How cute is that? Hope your day is fantastic. Thanks for the bee paper, Vinny. I love it. Sending hugs and lots of, and sending hugs and lots of hugs. Michelle Kern in Missouri. That's very cool. That is gorgeous. We may have to stick this over there on our bee, bee display. That is really, really pretty to show off how that paper looks. So good. This is from Mitzi Wilson. I don't think it has um, a card in it because they wrote on here for me. Yeah, she called to make sure they had arrived. She was checking. Very good. Talked Look at these. Morning. Look at these. These are beautiful cards. Oh, how gorgeous. This uses the God Bless, Amer God Bless America paper. Yes. I think it is called God Bless America. This is absolutely beautiful. Look at that. So beautiful. I'm going to put these in the ministry cards because I think a lot of people can use these. You know, if you're sending cards to veterans or, you know, servicemen, service women, this would be so nice, wouldn't it? Yes. Picnics. Y'all come to this picnic? <gasps> what cute invitations to a picnic. Hey, I want to have a big 4th of July thing because um, I, I made an album that needs pictures. I told okay. Blake I wanted to have a 4th of July thing just because we haven't had a thing. Well, let's coordinate <laughs> it so I can come to yours. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> We'll have a... Even if it's just the two of us, we can just take pictures. We'll just, that's it. We'll just do a bunch of different things and take pictures doing it. <laughs> but coordinate it so I can come to yours and you can come to mine. Okay. I'm like, we'll, we'll do, we could do a, a 4th of July brunch and a 4th of July, what would lunch. be the combination? And Early dinner? Lots of supper. <laughs> yeah. 4th of July ice cream party. <gasps> that's a good idea, By actually. Look at this. Oh, my. see? Christmas early, y'all. Oh my goodness, these are so cute. I'm just enjoying it myself. There's nothing in there, I don't think. I say the rest of us would like to see it. Y'all would like to see it? Well, you're going to get to it. Just hold on a second. Let me check this letter out. It, a lot of times when they're typed, I have to read them like this. Okay. I hope all of the crew are doing good. I'm sending this package for Christmas in July as I forgot to send it at Christmas. Um... There are some salt and pepper shakers for Vinny. They're really cute, by the way. Love your products and your videos. You've taught me so much and use them every day. Love how you love the Lord. We know through him all things are possible. Many blessings to you, your family, and crew. Warm wishes. Georgia Summerfelt. Look at this. Here's your salt and pepper shakers. So stinking cute. Oh, cool. This is really cute. Are they cute. like on a truck? It's a red pickup truck, and it's the pepper, and then the Christmas tree is the salt. This is adorable. 
You're going to love this. You know where this is going to sit? Oh, okay. So, the yeah, I get you now. At Christmas, oh. this is your salt and pepper shaker for your okay. chair. I need to see that box. He has to have a salt and pepper shaker by his chair all the time. That is so well, you just don't cool. never know when you might need it with dinner. You don't. We need to try to find that. Look, they're in Tennessee. This is adorbs. And look at the size of it. It's so feel. cute. It looks so cute on camera, doesn't it? I love how that just sits in there. I know you want to hold it. Those are I know you're wanting to get your hands on it. Isn't it cute? Thank you, Georgia. Like Look at this. And it has three paws. Three paws. Carly, Lizzie, Darcy. So Aww. cute. Now you can vinyl it. Oh, yeah. I don't know that I could vinyl that, but I could um, I could have it embroidered. Because it's furry. Oh, I can't tell. So yeah, cute. isn't it cute? Oh, that is cute. The three girls. The three girls are scheduled for a bath on Monday. Tomorrow. I, tomorrow. Yeah, I forgot something. Oh, yeah. I don't think they're going to like me after that. Ooh. Look at these. Ooh. So pretty. Ah. <laughs> I love Shannon's Ooh. and Oz. Ah. <laughs> I love it. That's Ooh. awesome. I should probably close this. Yeah. I used this a lot in my last video, and I kept thinking, I'm going to get myself. I'm going to get myself with that thing. I, got I love this. It a couple times. Oh, did you? Yeah. Because it was just laying there, blade up, like, cut me. Thank you so much, Georgia. That is so cool. I love it. Okay, we have a little bit. I don't know that I'm supposed to show this yet. Did you I'll check say. quantity on that? Because I don't think I'm supposed to show that yet. I think that was a thing I'm not supposed to show. These are back. Have we been waiting on these? I knew that some of these we couldn't the get. The nine and a half are the ones we can't find anywhere. Oh, wait. These are the lefties. The lefty snips. Look, y'all. So these are the righties. Look what the, okay, I'll put it down and show you. The righties, this side goes up. On the lefties, this side goes up. Kamatha, oh, look at that. Me. I just didn't know what the uh, noise was. I want to feel the difference. My mail cart. It did sound like that. See, I don't know the difference. Are the blades oriented different? Yeah, they are. I mean, but, I guess it's, I mean, I, that is really cool. I'm sure it matters. But isn't that terrible? All us righties are like, they're just scissors. But they're not just scissors, are they? Let me see a righty. Uh, okay. Yes, Anastasia, you will get this set because you signed up prior to the 15th. Which She's set? asking about the scripture set. She just joined the scripture club. You'll get she this month. Sure I thought it was something it. we were showing. Look how cute this is. Okay, so this is four little locks, okay, with the keys, and it has the brads to put the little locks on with. Uh, I have a feeling you're going to see a lot of these in Christmas in July. I feel like I'm going to use this a lot for gifts and things. All right, now. Oh, Vinny boy. But this is mostly because we now have Oops. the retail store open again. And we need paper for people coming in. And for you guys in the store, typically in our online store, we've only been bringing you like new releases and stuff like that. But he's gone back and got some of our old favorites to paper to bring in so we could have some in the retail store and some of you guys asked for this paper and if you and like you'd be surprised how many times somebody watches an old video and then emails us and says can i get that paper so we go based on that we go back and get those this one is called salon this is adorable if you want to do something to remember like if you're this is what i see this one as either you taking your daughter to the salon for the first time your niece something like that or if your bride, your bride and your bridesmaids all go get their hair done together or go get their nails done for the wedding, I think this would be so cute to do a scrapbook for that or do a layout. Look how precious. Or to do, well, that's upside down. Or to do a purse mini album. This is so cute for the purse like that, the big purse. And we were able to get those on sale. So they're all, the, those packs are $9.99. Instead of, I think they're usually like $14.99. Instead of $14.99. So these are $9.99. And he... He may just keep getting them. He may not. Do y'all see that little bobby pin? Is there a sticker of a bobby pin? Yes. That's so cute. As a hairdresser, this speaks to me. I love it. And there's so much you could do with it. And Shannon, we need this because we're going to go get our nails done, girl. We can make us a little day of it. That's cute. I needed this for something that's coming that I'm not going to tell y'all about, but I needed this. <laughs> and I think you ended up getting three. I think you ended up getting three summer papers. Let me tell y'all something that happened last year. <clears throat> I was talking to one of our distributors last, 
about this time last year. And they were showing me all the cool papers they had done for that year. And it was like the beach and travel and all this. And I'm like, I don't think this is going to be popular this year. And I don't think it was. I don't. But this year, this stuff's going to be popular. People are getting back to the beach, getting back on those cruise ships, getting back on their vacations. Airbnb and everything. I think these are going to be popular. So we got Under the Sea, which is the bright colors. This one is also a 9 dollars uh -huh. um, And look at these stickers. So cute. But I'm telling y'all, I have something coming because I also think summer's back. So I'm just giving y'all a little heads up. Um, I think summer vacation is back. You know what I'm saying? And I think people are going to make the most of it this year. We've already seen it here of people visiting us. So look at this one. This yes. one's kind of the pastel -y colors. And why are these all upside down? Is, was that a thing? Um, they're upside down and backwards. Yeah, it's weird. Not used to that. This is really cute. Look at this. I just think you're going to be able to do so much with these. They open on the front. I know. I, I noticed. I, wonder I don't if know. It's just an Echo Park. Make sure they know it's an old pack thing. Oh, it could um, be. Mm -hmm. Look at this one. I love this pack. I love these papers because these are very masculine. You don't have to just use the ones like, like that are nautical. Some of these are not nautical, and they're beautiful. Oh, look at the letters. That's cute. That is nice. This would make a beautiful album. And I also think people are going to be taking pictures of everything they do when they get together with people. I think memories are me. I've already been taking more pictures. I have, mm -hmm. too. I think memories are going to matter so much more than ever before. I think we're going we're gonna to pay attention to it. Now, it, I don't know. It could be like everything else, and it could fade over time when everything gets back to normal. But I just believe we're going back to making memories. I'm using this with Saturday's project. Let me say something about this paper pack. Me and this paper pack go way back. I have so <laughs> many projects with this paper pack on my channel. Um, and it's a $9.99 pack, which is great. But it's a beautiful pack. If you have made a project with this pack, tell me in the chat. I guarantee you. Just give me a, give me a big me. How about me and exclamation point? I love this paper pack. And you'll me. see it in the Saturday video. Yeah, because you did an album with it. You did yep. a recipe book with it. Yep. And I have a video on that, by the way, if y'all want to do that. This pack, Forward with Faith, I appreciate that they keep this one in, where we can still get it because it has scripture with the references, the references, the references, references, references. That's my thing. I want scripture to have references. <laughs> And I appreciate that. It's not just a bunch of Jesus loves you. You know, well, it actually right here says Jesus loves me. <laughs> but it's not just a bunch of that. It's actual scripture with its actual reference. And I love that. And this paper pack, it's rare to find these. And trust me, I say to our I say to anybody that'll listen to me, give me more scripture. Give me more scripture. I ask all the time. And this one's a good one. That's why we bring it back all the time. I tell Vince, if nothing else, it's got one of my favorite buffalo checks in it because it's a crisp, white, small buffalo check, and I love it. And this floral. Oh, see, it's that purse. You got lots of me's. See, I'm telling lots you, it's a great one. It's a great, a great one. Um, but I want the scripture, and I love it. Not only is the scripture in the stickers, the references in the stickers, they even have scripture references on their cut aparts in this pack. So this is a great one, and it's $9.99. I'll keep that one as long as I don't have another option. I want options. So if anybody's interested in doing some scripture stuff, call me. I will help you design it. I will help you feel confident in it, okay? Just let me know. Uh, homegrown. We had this one for a little while, and the reason I asked Vince about this one was because we could sell it at that $9.99 price point, and I know how popular farmhouse and vegetable gardens and all that is right now. So if you're doing an album, maybe you grew a garden, maybe you're gonna grow a garden this year and you've been taking pictures, wouldn't it be fun to have a little memory album and use something like this to do it with? So I thought at that price point, we should definitely bring this in. Super cute veggies, um, milk containers. These are jars, like canning jars. Remember the shortage of 2020? The canning all jar these, shortage? All these packs that we're showing today should be $9.99 in the store. One of them may not be. This, um, are you checking as we go? Because I, this one may not be. Let me check the date. Oh, let me look. She no, it a, is. She did a nine ninety nine under shop on the website. A oh. nine ninety nine paper. Well, that's cool. Drop down. That's cool. And there's ten paper packs. Cool. That are all nine ninety nine. Here's another one. Another summer bliss. I just think summer's the thing. I just, I know. I just think it is. I think we're gonna. It's gonna be like. That one might not be 10. Nine, Remember, nine, summer nine, of 69. This is going to be the summer of 21. <laughs> What's that, summer bliss? Oh, this is a new one. we got to flip through it. We've never flipped through that one. That's a 21. 
Oh my goodness, I love this paper bag. When I saw it, I said I yes. Summer Bliss is nine ninety nine. It's a twenty twenty one pack, so that's probably a mistake. So y'all better go grab it. <laughs> um, Hello Fall is one of my all time favorite fall packs. The paper, the stickers, the whole thing, the whole nine yards. When I saw that we could still get it, grabbed it. It's, it is literally one of my favorite packs. I love the paper. And I know you're thinking it's not fall, but look, orange and all these colors are great for all year round. All year round. Love it. Then, Rustic Elegance. We wanted some more. We got, I think we have three wedding packs now in the store. This is one of them. What we liked about this one was the difference in the pattern. I don't know that we've had Rustic Elegance in the store before, have we? Yes. You sure? Because I don't know if I've ever flipped through this. Yes. I'm going to flip through it because I don't remember. So I'll flip through that one after I do the new one. So let's flip through the new one. Have I got time? This is all we had to do, right? That's it. All right. So good Q&A day because we're called up. So if y'all have questions, go ahead and start typing them and we'll get to them after I do this flip through. So this is Summer Bliss. This is a new pack for 2021. Yep, look, they got cut aparts on the back. Oh, summer bliss. It's not a new pack. Was, huh? It's not a new pack because it's clearanced. 100% 2021 right there. Well, that's okay. You. you still get it for $9.99. That's still awesome. You get it for $9.99. So look, summer bucket list. This is so cute. Summer is three months of fun. Not around here. We're only getting two months. I'm just saying. Flip flops, watermelon, summer, sun, ice cream. This is so cute. Love these patterns. Another one of the cut aparts put that back together correctly look at these so cute <gasps> look at that wood grain that is gorgeous I've never seen one like that before Shannon look at that one. Oh, that's pretty that's really cool I love that you get two sheets of that one I don't feel like I'm putting this back together correctly hold on this one oh look at the back look at the back look at that how cute the polka dots with right, the indeed, birds. So that is an old pack this one is flip-flops and look so cute the flip-flops are adorable I just like to smell it I don't really care how old it is you a sniffer well this one's mine I got lipstick on it <laughs> you want to tell them about the wreath kits <laughs> With, issue yeah we'll talk about that look how cute this is yeah hold on to the questions because we'll we will want to talk in a minute um, I was telling them to fill us up with so some questions. So pretty. I this love is, the bicycle. This is a really, really pretty paper pack. Really pretty. It reminds me of popsicles. Oh, a mini album in the shape of a popsicle would be cute, wouldn't it? That would be cute. It reminds me of popsicles. Or lemonade stands. Reminds me of that, too. Look at these stickers. Look at that huge camera sticker. Love that. Love it. That frame, the front of a mini album made for you right there. So cute. All right, so bargain papers. Let me flip through this wedding one because I don't remember it. And it is super thick. Is this, that's why it's Cartabella. It's super oh, thick feeling. Oh, Cartabella paper. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, smells delish. Check this out. Rustic Elegance. Ooh, ooh, pretty. Look at that. I'm going to flip it over. Oh, I love Cartabella texture. Look how pretty. Look Cartabella. how pretty. Oh, look at these cut aparts. Let me bring it back down for you guys. Park. Look at these. Why does it smell like Burger King? <laughs> smells like Burger King. All right, Shannon, sniff it. Well, it is green like leather. It smells like Burger King. Does it? It's the power I'm not of crazy, suggestion. No. Why no. does it smell like when you walk in Burger King? It smells like that. Are they mustard. spraying this stuff with good smelling stuff so you want it? <laughs> it's like that mustard, onion, ketchup mix. That you love. It doesn't something. smell flame broiled. <laughs> no, it's not flame broiled, y'all. Are they which on is, to something? Which is kind paper? of a turn off because I don't really like Burger King. <laughs> I love Burger King. Listen. It's not my favorite. I love, okay, we my were at Durbin's. love it. We were at Durbin Farms and Burger King's across, right the, street. across the street. And I told Vince, what in the world smells better than that flame broiled? You don't even like Burger King, but does that flame broiled smell delicious? Oh, absolutely. It just does. It's so funny. Look at this paper, y'all. I don't remember ever having this paper. I'm super happy to have it because I'm in love with this I page. I love that. I, I wish I had a dress made out of that, like a summer dress. Isn't I it beautiful? I so wear that. <gasps> Look at that. So pretty. 
jars, and they actually say well, Mason involved. If y'all decide to make dresses out of that, y'all need to make sure you stay inside. <laughs> we have to, one, <laughs> Don't go out in the rain. The one sheet wonder dress. <laughs> Can't wear it around here then in the afternoon. Can't we wear it rain in every day. Every day. Oh my goodness. Y'all, that color's not showing. This is peach and it's very, look how it's not very showing. Pretty. It's a beautiful peach. Let me see if it'll show if I add. And that's a beautiful gray. It's not showing up like it is. Um, this one's peach and gray. That's peach. I'm sad you're not seeing the peach because there's more of it. That looks more real. So gorgeous. Look at this paper pack. This is a good wedding pack. Oh, what does this say? What's this one called? Heart garland. I don't know. They're too small for me to read. <coughs> Who was it said? <laughs> I have to tell that story about when we went on our field trip yesterday. And Ember said we're too old to come in here. <laughs> I have to tell y'all. Look at the lace. Looks like the that bodice of a so wedding pretty. dress. Look at this little flower. I don't want a field trip today. I want a field trip this afternoon. Look, how beautiful. Have them actually sign it so you, this is so beautiful. I have never seen this paper pack. This is beautiful. Now what's on here? I see a lots of stuff. Oh wow, look at the letters. I like, I, I'm with you Deborah. Whataburger. Some good eating at Whataburger. Not a Whataburger fan. I love their Let me take that back. I'm not an Alabama Whataburger fan. I like Florida Whataburgers. No, the Holder. There's a difference. There he is. There's a difference. And I Our think Texas ones are different. Florida. I think Texas ones are different. But if you notice, all the people that come through here going to the beach always stop because we have a Whataburger. But is it because it's at the interstate? That's the thing. I'm well, like, I think a lot of people don't knew. have them in their states anymore, and they just go through and get it. If people only knew that Three Amigos makes the best burger, that Mexican joint makes the best burger. Really <laughs> if people <do>. only knew. <laughs> well, everybody that comes here knows because we tell them. Oh, Tam wants paper that smells like tacos. I'd be in trouble. Somebody Seriously. Uh, said earlier we need to find pizza, uh, paper that smells like pizza. Oh, I agree. Pizza. Yes, I is, love Deborah. smash burgers. I agree. Give me a Freddy's yeah, burger Tam, I any don't day. It. Wait, what's Barb saying? Her, Barb air, said conditioner her air conditioner is, is out. out. It is 99 degrees for 10 and her days. air has been out for 10 days. It's going to be 10 days before they can get it fixed. I'll be going on vacation. Be Airbnb in that AC. Airbnb AC. Wow. What is better than Whataburger? Uh, three Amigos. Uh, Mexican. Oh, I think a lot of stuff. I but like I'm not a Whataburger stuff. fan. I don't like In N Out burgers. I'm sorry. I, I know. know. I'm sorry. Hold on. There's are In N Outs in Texas? Yes. Okay, we ate at In N Out when we went. I to wasn't Texas. impressed. It's all right. I'm sorry. I mean it's pretty famous, but I wasn't My impressed. My favorite is Freddy's. I love haven't Freddy's. had Freddy's. They have Smash Burgers, like Smash Burgers. We so may much have had Freddy's. Lacy, I haven't had delicious. Freddy's. There's one in Hoover. Because I've heard about it, but I haven't. Had oh it. no, no, no. I, I thought you were think talking about in Texas. I love Five Guys. See, I wasn't a huge Five Guys. I think they have a really good flavor. I didn't like their fries. Oh gosh, I love their fries. Yeah, <gasps> you're a big potato funnel person. Them. Though. Oh, funnel those no. fries in my mouth. <laughs> I want fries that taste like grease and not potatoes. <laughs> oh, I love it. potatoes are my favorite food. We've already I know, discussed it. Yes. I, oh. Oh, Reese. Tell them about Reese. Okay, here's the situation with, situation with Reese. The and, and you're not alone because my mom's in this boat too because I just talked to her yesterday about it. We are not able to, at this point in time, get the wreath forms. Um, in I want to say February, January or February, they told us they were six months out before they could get forms. We have looked every other day since February and we cannot get the forms. And when I say the forms, it's the forms we use, okay, because... There's, you just sometimes know when something's that good, and that's the ones we cannot get. I can find other ones. I've ordered some that are subpar, and I'm not selling them. Like, we ordered them, and we sent them back because they were not worth it. So, as soon as we can get them, we will bring wreath kits back. I cannot promise we'll have them for Christmas. I don't no. know what's going to happen yet. I'm with you, Tam. I love me some five guys. They make a great burger. So, I don't know if we're going to have them for Christmas or not. Of course, if we can, we will. If we can, we will. Um, oh, yeah, Nyoka I mean, and I are on the same boat. Y'all got to understand, the those wreath forms pretty much come from one supplier here in the United States. Yeah. And, and if we can't get them, nobody else can get them yeah, either. Yeah, everybody's struggling. Like, it's funny. It's not funny. It's actually very sad. But the people that I watch that make wreaths, I've noticed, are getting very creative and using other things. 
And so um, we would get that creative too, except that those other bases are very expensive. And, and they're I'd, not easy to ship to you. And they're not easy to ship because they, they come really large. And it's we're, we're working on it. It's not economical at the moment. Um, so you gotta go Mel, say, have you heard of the book card fun fold? I actually just I watched a video today with broke. the book card. Um, if it's what I'm thinking it is. The book binding card fold. The one that has the wide binding right here and it opens like that. If that's the one you're talking about, yes. I'm frozen again. Oh, Melissa says there is a difference between our um, forms and others. Ours don't cut your hands up as much. I'll tell you, Shannon and I think that the glitter ones are rough on our hands. Yeah, the last ones we had were like a metallic mm -hmm. thingy, and they were they were they were mean to me. Yeah. Any word on the event price for September? No. We're yes and no. There. We're getting there. Yes and no. We're really close. Why don't you ask them your question? I don't have. A, we'll have a question about the bundling it all together. Do we ask that question? I gotta sit on my foot. I kinda done threw it out there now, oh, so I, I kinda messed up. <laughs> you got like a sticker stuck on your toe. <laughs> on off. this side? Oh, it was a magnet. Oh, I had one drop earlier. <laughs> um, in a project I was doing. Uh, so I don't know how to put it to y'all because I know what you're gonna say and I'm scared. I'm scared of it. Oh, uh, kids are only getting like two months out for summer this year. Yeah, that's what she meant by two months of summer. Yeah, Alabama's going to be hot until probably December. That's the way our life oh goes. yeah, not the weather, but like our kids didn't get out until June, which has never happened before. They didn't get out till June seventh. Uh, yeah, ish. And then they go back. Uh, August. Second week of August, I think. They're not getting much summer. That's what I meant by that. Yeah. But we'll have summer weather for a long time. Okay, here's what Vinny's talking about. We had a sweet, should I throw her under the bus? I won't. We had a no. sweet subscriber visit this week. <laughs> Did I say it was her fault? I won't. She knows who she is. It was her idea. She knows who Barb already said it. Bundle it. Here's the thing <laughs> that they asked for. Let me tell you what they asked for. They know they want to come. This is the, all right, if you're this person, you know you want to come, you know you want to take everything, you know you want a table, you know you want all of it. You don't care what time your classes are. You're already going to be here, and you plan, you'll schedule your time around it, okay? What the suggestion was is that we have one bundle, and that way when you go online on the first, this is part of the thing, when you go online on the first, instead of having to go and put your table in your cart, your class in your cart, your class in your cart, your class in your cart. Instead, you just put the bundle in your cart and then you have a set time, which we can pre-do. Like we could say your first class is here, your second class is here, your third class is here because we've already talked about there is a way to do that. Yes. It, we would only offer that for 15 people to start with. And when those 15 bundles, we do another 15, right? Yeah. Because we can only teach 15, 15, and 15. How many? What's 15, 15, and 15? 45. 45. Are we only teaching 45 students this time? I think that's right. You each have 15 in the class, and no. I'm doing three classes. But I thought you were doing teaching. four classes. I don't remember. What did we say? How many, how many students did we say we were teaching? Four classes would be 60. I'm pretty sure that's what, where you were at. Four. I'm not doing four classes. We're doing Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I thought one of those days you were teaching twice. No. Could be. I don't remember. But anyway, we would probably bundle. We'd probably release some bundles, release some bundles until it's full. <laughs> If you're interested, tell me, just type the word bundle if you think that. Listen, not if you're just like, oh, that's a good idea. If you're really interested in that, if you're a person that's coming and you're really interested in the bundle, type bundle. Because the bundle would be everything, though, including the crop table. It would be your crop table and the three classes. And it, and it includes, so. Because like Connie but was everybody's just not, saying. She, everybody's not going to want to come for the She doesn't the crop. want a crop. She wants she classes. Wants classes. But, but that, that's yeah. not what this is. This would be an everything, all in one. A bundle. This is not that. That you would buy yourself. So we're still, we're not talking about not selling the classes individually. Oh, yeah, no. But we're talking about for those that want to do all of it, 
would they be, wouldn't it be easier for them just to click the bundle and get everything and not have to keep adding One stuff to their cart? The next thing that um, she mentioned was wanting to be able to pre-purchase that bundle. Like she was like, let me just give you my credit card today, right? Yes. And we're like, but we can't do that. I don't know how to do that fairly where everybody has the same opportunity. So one way we could do it, I hate the idea of this, but one way we could do it is I'm not telling you to do this. Please do not do what I'm telling you because we're not ready. I'm, I'm throwing it by Shannon right in front of y'all. If we said, if you would like to pre-purchase a bundle, email Shannon. If we did that and then when it was time to sell those bundles, she contacted you and said, here's the price. Do you want it? If you do, here it is. And if we got too many people, then we would have to do it raffle style. Yeah. We'd have to print off names, put them in a bucket, pull one out, and call that person. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. That's the only way I would feel it's fair. And I'm afraid, and I'm not afraid. Y'all trust us enough to know I, I have to sleep with myself, with my brain at night. I would not cheat you. That's not who I am. We would put your name in a bucket. We would pull your name out, and if you came in. Just like raffle copter. Just, just like, <laughs> I'm not going to cheat you, okay? So that would One be the only nine. other way to know to do it. Is anybody really needing the pre-sale situation? Anybody nearly say? Um, I don't like the idea of pre-selling nothing, but. I understand this is a little different. It's not like a product, but it could still sell out and nobody get a chance to do it. So I don't know. And y'all do need to know these are non-refundable. So oh. once you purchase your tickets, you will have your tickets. Kim said that's too much for us to do, but I forgot to tell Kim that was going to be her job. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's oh, all Oh, sorry, Kim. Kim. I forgot to tell you that was your job. <laughs> yeah, that's on you, babe. You forgot you're coming part-time. You forgot that you volunteered to help. Sorry. We give people... <laughs> We thought you had you, we had you in on that call. I pressed your name, but it just didn't work. Okay, I see no pre-sales. I'm okay with that. Oh, Tamitha got one of the last rooms at the Scottish Inn. So here's what I'm thinking I'm hearing. I'm hearing create you a bundle and give you, I, you're going to get a la carte. I will never not give you an a la carte option yeah. because I'm the person who could not afford all of the things, okay? But if I could go to one class, I'd be super happy. You know, so you will always get a la carte from me. I will never make it where it's all or nothing. Um, have we ever done an all or nothing? Let's see, Barb says the only reason she would want to pre-sell was to make flight arrangements. And so she wouldn't have to worry about it on the day of the release. That's, I mean, that would be me. Like last night, oh gosh. <laughs> and I knew this would be the case. I told Shannon today, I said, I set my alarm for that cricket thing for what, 10.45, 11 o'clock? Dude, Wait, went somebody's catching up. What classes? Went through, went through, <laughs> went through trying to get that cricket. I told Vince, I said, this is not fun. Refreshing, 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 refreshing. Never could get it, never could get it. Finally, at like 11.20, I was able to put one in my cart and check out. And I told Shannon, I said, I guarantee you if I go online right now, they're available. And we went online and it was available. I didn't have to stay up and do all that mess, but I did. Set an alarm and the whole thing. But I'll always remember I set an alarm to get my Maker 3, which I'm super excited about. And I will tell you, I was not going to get it. But there's a project Shannon and I want to do in the retail store, and it will make it so much easier for us. Yay! And I was like, if it'll make that easier, it's going to make other stuff easier. And I talked to Melody about it last night. It was so funny. I messaged Melody. I said, okay, I'm your favorite subscriber. I got questions. <laughs> so I told her, you got to answer me, right? I'm like, which one would you get, yada, yada, yada. And I made her tell me all the answers, and so I went with what she got. And God love her. At 11.50, she, no, 10.50, she messaged me, go, girl, go get it. And so I was like, I'm up, I'm up. <laughs> so anyway, um, I got it for that reason. It was I think funny because I promised you I would wake you up, and you said, don't worry, I set an alarm. I almost messaged you when I went to bed and said, hey, wake up. Wake up. Um, I was it, sitting in the chair watching TV. It was she funny because I was on the couch and I fell asleep and that alarm went off. And when I woke up, Vinny said, time to go shopping. I was like, here I go. <laughs> okay, so what classes? Um, Christmas Craft Acropolis, September 22nd through the 25th. It's a crop table, so you have a table for the whole weekend, plus three class options. Is it three or four options? I keep saying three. Four. It's four options. That's where I'm you wrong. Have you it's have Kim. It's four options. It was three before. Now it's uh -huh. four. That's It was three last time. So there's four options. Really cool classes. You're going to really enjoy them. Very intimate setting. I'll tell you that. Not because we want it to be, but because um, 
when we book the location, we are we're um, having to um, design the event based on current COVID restrictions. All of that's probably going to be gone by September, but right now we have to go by that. So there's going to be six foot social distancing in the big room, in the classrooms. Like the classrooms last time we did this were 30 people in a room. They're going to be 15 people in a room. We're going to teach more often. Where before we taught once a day, I think now we teach twice a day or something. I don't know. It's all it's all on paper. And y'all, this is how we work. We have so many things going at one time. We write it on paper and until we're looking at the paper, we don't know what's happening. She's trying to cipher. Let her cipher. So I'm going to say you're teaching twice a day. Twice on Thursday, twice on Friday, and once on Saturday. Kim, I didn't forget you. I think so. I got plans that for you. That to be what it was. Because we were trying to get the same amount of students, but in 15 minutes, 15 student increments. You, okay, you will, if you want to come one day and take three classes, four, you, I don't, you can't take four classes in a day. Can you? Yes. 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 Can you? Yes, you can take, get... you can. You can take four classes in a day. You're going to be tired. Whoop. You're going to be class, 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 like that. Wednesday, there are no classes, but you can come Wednesday if you get a crop table and get your table on Wednesday and start cropping. And we will have, we're going to do like we did last time. I may say last year, I don't mean last year, but the last Craft Acropolis. We will have a <laughs> reservation at a local <laughs> restaurant for a room. And every, we'll eat, we're going to eat there every night for this whole time. But you can schedule to go have dinner with us. It's not we're not it's not a paid for thing. Like you it's what's it called? Dutch. <laughs> we go Dutch. But if you would like to go eat where we're gonna eat, sit in the same room with us. Um last time it was pretty packed, so it's a yes. lot of us to get together. Yeah. But if you want to do that, Wednesday night, Thursday night, Friday night, there are opportunities to do that. We do that because we want to be able to go hang out with y'all as much as we can. Plus at Craft Acropolis, what we love is when the teachers aren't teaching, we're on the crop floor hanging out with you guys. It's our favorite part. We have to be around you so um, and chat and learn more about you. It's a lot of fun. Uh, last time, I got to spend so much time with people. It was really, really fun. It was fun. So we're looking forward to that, and Shannon will actually get to be there the I whole get time. To go. She was I working at the store last time, so she'll get to go this time, which is a lot of fun. Um, you had one question, are you going to try to do some online event like you did last year? We will do an online event again. I'm working with some with some folks right now. I have this idea. Um, Barb said she got to sit with Joe last time. <laughs> well, that's exciting. Wow, um, that was a quiet meal, <coughs> huh? She said it was funny. I bet it, it was, was so funny. funny. He is funny. The thing about the online classes, I'm working on something. I've got this idea to where... I'm trying to take the hard part out of the online classes. The hard part is the kit. If I had a kit that you could just purchase and, there, and then meet me online at such and such day, it's not a problem. But the amount of time it takes for us to design these kits and put them together, that's the hard part. But I'm working with some people right now that I think are going to help make me help make that easier for me. And if that's the case, we should be able to bring out more online stuff like that. I enjoy the online. Shannon and I both enjoy it. I don't enjoy it in event format. I don't enjoy no. it when I'm having when we have four or five teachers going at the same time. That's too hard. When Shannon, Shannon and I either need to be teaching or overseeing other classes, not in here while classes are going. It's too much for us like that. So we are going to be doing that. Um, so Sheila says she like a bundle. So there, are, so the bundle yeah. is a thing. We have like one, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight people that said bundles are a good thing. Okay, I feel good about that because, because like I said. some of them have already made reservations. So the thought of being able to go on and click and get your bundle and be done quicker so they know they get tickets to come since they already have reservations makes it a little easier. Yeah. I like the idea of the bundle. I um, would do a bundle, I mean, if they're going to be here. And then it also gives you a table to go to during classes, if you're not in a class every day to work on a project or finish a class project. I would do a bundle if I'm traveling in. There's, yeah. Then you have your, your place for the have day. A place to go. And what you don't understand, and I don't, I don't put enough stock in this, but it's true. You get to meet people and know. I, I remember people huddling up together, going to eat together. Like, it, you become friends. And this one's going to be much more intimate. Now, I will tell you. If restrictions change in the big room, we can add more tables. I cannot add more seats to classes because of kits, 
but I'll be able to add more tables. So we might even be able to do that if we can, so. Yay, thank you, Elise. Um, yes, this event is in Clanton, Alabama. And I told Vince today, I wanna, y'all tell me if you like this idea, I think it'll be cute. So many of you guys are coming to visit us and there's so many cool little places in our town and we try to tell you about them, but it's kind of hard to do. I want to do a, a video for my channel that we can share with folks and put on these event pages and stuff called like thing, um, things to see in Clanton or things you didn't know were here or whatever. And what I want to do is like me and Shannon, me and Vince, whoever, go to these different places and just film highlights of the place and then you can watch it so you can make a little list while I'm there I want to go here I want to go here I want to go here because like yesterday so we've been here for over a year and our neighbors opened sometime during the pandemic I don't remember like summer of last year and they have this little cafe literally like three doors down there's this little cafe and we've never been in it and I don't I remember saying it makes me sad that people don't shop local, and I thought, we've never been up there. Let's go. So the whole crew yesterday gathered up, and we went up to what's called the Zone Cafe, and they have acai bowls, and they have, like, smoothies, and they have um, coffees, iced coffees, all that kind of stuff, and I thought... Laser tag. And they have laser tag, <laughs> and they have an arcade, and I thought, how many people don't realize this is a thing? And if you're planning your trip to Clinton, wouldn't it be handy to know that? Like, what if you're bringing your grandkids? What if you're bringing... Uh, nieces and nephews. Well, I mean, even if like your family comes and it's your, on your way down and your husband lets you take a wonderful class before y'all go to the beach, you could bring the kids to the game zone and play. Yeah, and in, like I can even show y'all the fishing hole, which if your husband's coming, he definitely would want to go to the fishing hole because it's not just fishing, but it's super cute. You know, I can show you like, we could take you and show you the Planting marina. Planting outdoors. Planting outdoors is a great place. There, there's so many places you don't realize exist here and I just want to do this video because I think it, it's something we could play in the front. It's something we could put on our event page. Because if you're going to be here for three days, you're going to yeah. you're going to want to do something besides just the hotel and the crop, hotel and the crop. You know, we could show you all the cool little eating places. Because here's the thing: you can eat fast food anywhere. If you're going to go to a small town, it's fun to go to mom and pop shops and support. That's another thing. When you come to town, I want you to support our mom and pops because. Nothing makes me sadder than to lose a mom and pop shop because they we worked so hard to do this, and that we lost we lost one during the pandemic, but only one. And fortunately, it was just their second location. They didn't lose all their stuff. They just lost this. Well, actually, we lost two during the pandemic because mm -hmm. we lost um, another one down the street too. So, I just want to do that. I think it'll be fun, and I think you guys will like it. And it won't be like a full walkthrough of the whole place. We we can do barbs, but you'll be surprised. What's here? Barb wants the best places, best things to eat in Alabama in September. All of Alabama? Well, she said Alabama. But I think we could do it. We could do it as a document on the website. I think we could do it. Yeah. The fish market put it down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at Vince's face. The fish market. We went this week. Ah. Uh. Our chamber might help. I don't know. We're not members of the chambers, not for any reason, except we just never joined the chamber. Like, um... We were going to right before COVID and hit, and then we, we were didn't. going to do an open house and all that kind of stuff. And we never did. Um, honestly, it would probably be a bigger help to our chamber than our chamber helping us. I think it would be a big help to our chamber. Like I think they could use it. Uh huh. You know. Um, well, I mean, if we made a video, they'd probably share it. <laughs> Chub Fathers didn't make it. No. Chub Fathers could not hire any employees and keep employees during the pandemic, and so. He, we're not his only location, so he closed this location down, and it made sense. It was his newest and location. I'm wanting to say he has another location. I know he has one in Alabaster still, but I'm wanting to say they opened one up somewhere north of Alabaster, but I'm not sure. Really? I think. But I know they still have the one in Alabaster. I was just thinking. That's their original location, because that's where I first ate at Chubb Fathers. Where this idea came from was we were standing up front talking to people, and every time people come to visit us, they ask, where should we eat? Where should we go from here? Because, you know, it's a you're not here an hour. An hour's a long visit with us here, you know, because there's not much to do. And so we try to tell everybody all the cool places. And I thought, wouldn't it be neat if before people came, they could go ahead and watch that video? Chelsea. And Chelsea. And maybe we could even Sorry. point out, like, maybe there's some restaurants that have, like, gluten-free options. Maybe we yeah. could even point that kind of stuff out. Um, in the video. I'm excited. I want to do it. And I know that um, I know that our folks in town would let us. Some people might not let us, but it seems like they probably would. If I told them what the deal was and explained it to them, they'd probably be okay with it. 
We are not in uh, Verbena anymore. We moved last year in March to our bigger location in Clayton. So we are not in Verbena. Yeah, neighborhood girl will be like, yes, girl, come. He don't care. Jason will be like, do it. They're going to all be like, do it. <laughs> Free advertisement. I mean, take them to the cupcake close. We need, we need to get samples. We need to go try much of brew. Maybe we can get samples. Yeah. See, that's the thing. I'm going to make a goal for myself to, try to go to every mom and pop in our town. I really? want to. I don't know if the goal is, is once a week or I don't know, but I want to set a goal where I literally go in every because I realize we don't know what we've got if we don't go in those places. Oh. Like when we went in Cakes and Candy, okay, I didn't realize they did cute character cakes and stuff like that. They had bunnies, and I didn't know they did all that stuff, and that's right here in our town. Mm -hmm. So instead of me driving out of our town to go buy something somewhere else, I can get it right here. It's the stuff I don't realize. So anyway, that's what I'm going to do. I challenge you guys to do it. Make a goal. Like if you're starting to get back out, <coughs> out and about in your area, <coughs> make it a goal. Even if it's a store you don't think you'd be interested in, go to it. You know why? Like Bass Pro Shop. Not my kind of store. But their little kitchen area is my favorite thing. So if Vince wants to go there, I'm like, yeah, because I love to go no, in their little kitchen uh, thing. Just to go see the fish tank. Yeah. So we went Friday night. <laughs> so anyway, try it. Go into your area. Visit your mom and pops. Post them online. You guys have no idea what it means for someone to walk in your store and go, you guys have to visit this place and, and do a little video or something. It means so much. And most of you guys, that's how you find out things. You're not being your normal self. I, I don't know. I keep getting frozen. I don't know what to do. Are with you frozen it. now? You're not. I'm not right this. Second. I think you're being yourself. I think you're just being quiet because we're talking. Because I'm talking. Well, I mean, you know. You want me to shut up? The tacos no. are in our parking lot, Tamitha. That's where the tacos are. We got tacos on lock. <laughs> oh, Vinny's even gone over to our taco world. <laughs> we drug him over to tacos. <laughs> yeah, they're good. I think so, Barb. I think we need to share it. It will help so many people. And social media needs more than all it's got right now. Social media needs for people to see these hardworking folks in your community. Um, I was so proud of this. There's a lady in our town, which I'll go visit her place too. Her little restaurant is called Farmhouse Cafe. She's actually in a town next to us, but it's our town. And she, now let me community. tell you what she did. Y'all just listen. She has a farmhouse cafe. She serves a meat and three incredible food. She does meals to take out. That's another thing you wouldn't know if I didn't tell you, right? She does meals that you can take out, all this good stuff. She invited a barbecue food truck to come to her parking lot and open one day. And this I'm going week. to tell you, he's probably the best barbecue in our county. It's herds. I'm going to tell oh, you, it's probably the best in it. our county. It's and good. very few people know about it because he's just in a little bitty small building down in Maplesville, but man, it's good stuff. And I was so, I was so. I mean, hurt yourself, good stuff. I was inspired by her doing that. I thought, what kind of confidence does it take for you to say to somebody, you, you're, a, you're my competition, park in my parking lot. I mean, come on, that's so awesome. And they'll always be friends. They'll always support each other. They'll always, like when he's in Maplesville, somebody says, I'm going to be in Thorsley this week. He'll say, go to Farmhouse and eat. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. it's, it's so important that we do that. And all of you have mom and pops in your town. All of you do. All of you do. I just think it'd be so cool. All right, I'm reading comments. Anything else? I think that's a good idea so when everyone comes back. See, that's what I think, Taz. You'll be able to make plans ahead of time to be like, I definitely want to. It's kind of like the Clanton bucket list, which won't be long. <laughs> won't be a long one. Also, Kim and my locals, tell me places I need to go. Make sure, because y'all probably know cooler things than I even know we have. They always have the best food, Tam. Always. The hole in the walls always have the best food. <clears throat> okay. The other thing to put on your calendar Holiday Open House. Super excited about this. Um, another thing, we are considering opening our classroom back up. Would you guys be interested in coming to take classes in the middle? Of, like, if you maybe you can't come to September or whatever, we're considering opening our classroom here and doing just all kinds of classes, just assortment of classes, like just each of my mates it's putting on the calendar, this is what I'm teaching and blah, blah, blah. And if we taught one, we'd teach one. If we taught 10, we'd teach 10. Like, you know. 
Um, I know Brenda's excited. We're all ready to start teaching again, like all of us. Brenda's excited. Um, I, I'm sure Lisa would come teach classes. I'm sure Kim would come teach some classes. Um, probably could get Shannon to teach something. Probably. She's thinking. <laughs> Write notes. So we're, um, but I didn't say no. That we will, Roberta, we will definitely have that. I actually have been asking, you know what I want to have? This is what I want. I want one of those boxes. Like when you go to Tennessee and you go in a restaurant and they have all those pamphlets from all those places that, for you to go see, yep. I want that, but for our town. So like, I'm going to start knocking on doors and be like, Hey, make me just a little flyer. Just make me something about you. Like, Durbin's already has them, but wouldn't that be cool if you came in and I had a little place where you could just find all those little, th I just think it'd be so good. I mean, like, Perfect. at least put their address and what they do on it. Yeah. Doesn't have to be anything big. Yeah. But their address, <coughs> their phone number, and their store hours. <laughs> Diane, you won't be sad. Alabama's a great place. I will tell you this. It is the beautiful. I, it blows my mind when we get out of our areas and we travel around, Vince and I went to North Alabama a couple week, uh, a couple weekends ago, and I was like, how beautiful is our state? Like, how beautiful? We don't even, we don't even think about it, but it's mm -hmm. so pretty. The Clanton Guide. Is I, that's a good question. Is Tennessee the only place that does that? When we go to Texas, we stop at the Information Center, and there are bookshelves full of that. Like, because Texas the is massive. Area. The rest area. Just bookshelves full of it, but I've seen them in Tennessee. That's the only place I've ever seen them. I think they have some at the beach. They have them in I Florida just, too. Do they? Like, just the main touristy locations have them. Well, that's Tennessee. I was gonna say I know they had yeah. them in Memphis, but we, that was when we were there. They had them in the um, visitor center because that's where I bought my um, Graceland tickets from. Because they're cheaper in the visitor center if y'all going. <laughs> y'all look it up. <laughs> Who told us that? They're oh, they're only a couple bucks cheaper, but by the time you're buying. 10 tickets. Yeah, when you're buying as many tickets as we were buying. Yeah. What was Trisha's great idea? Where's it at? Where's it at? And that is a good, Trish said to invite food trucks to the crop. It's a great idea. I don't know if we could get that done. We'll ask, because I know several, because the taco truck could just park. You know, we had the taco truck in Verbena. Yeah, we had it at Open House. Well, I mean, you'd have them, you could have I don't know that it's herbs, allowable. You could have, I mean, if they would let us do yeah, it. Yeah, I don't know that that's allowable on there, because that's not my property, so I can't do that. And this is not my property here. The difference in Verbena was our our location didn't interfere with any other business, so parking it in my parking lot didn't hurt anything. I can ask Christine. Ask her if we can do that, because there's a lot of them. So Karen says every state she's living in. Does our state do it? What? Those little flyer thingies. I haven't seen I'm them. Sure I mean, down, I'm probably sure around, like Gulf Shores yeah. or something probably Most, has a ton of I them. I think what there's, I like, um, who was it that said I just saw <laughs> Mel's face said most hotels have them. Read what Joe Hall said. Yeah. Graceland should let me remember because I'm related. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, that's what I was saying, Wanda. I wouldn't mind doing it at my store, but my store's parking lot wouldn't hold it. And I know you think it would, but the reason it wouldn't is there is five businesses in that little hole right there. Is it five? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Then there's us with two doors. Then there's the dance studio, the Axe Place, the cheerleading place, Three Amigo shares our parking lot, and Ba Ford shares our parking yeah. lot. So we don't have the parking space. It looks like it sometimes, but in the evenings or when it gets busy, it doesn't work. But that doesn't mean that we couldn't say, we got an event coming, we need to find a place for y'all to set up. I don't know. Karen, the only business association I'm aware of is the Chamber. Does anybody, do you know of another business association? I want to start all that. <clears throat> I want our businesses to start um, social media in each other. I think we, I think we miss out because people don't know. You know what I'm saying? We don't share us each other enough. Wanda, our parking lot is pretty big, mm -hmm. but when we first moved into the building, we were the only business in the building, and now the whole shopping center is full, so it makes it a little more challenging. Like we came in yesterday before we even opened, and all our parking places were taken. So it always depends on who's having an event at what time. Like if our cheerleader place is having an event or if our dance place is having an event or if the act, the acts place is only open in the afternoon, which has not been an issue for us. 
but like in the summertime especially game zone is open and so kids hang out at there and the issue with game zone is you think it's one business it's kind of misleading we have this shopping center on the end used to be a shopping mall so what looks like the game zone entrance is actually just the entrance to the shopping mall. So you open that door and there's a bit, there's two businesses on this side and two businesses on this side. Yeah, there's a, lot, a the Chinese cafe. office, there's a weight loss program mm -hmm. place. Mm -hmm. it, it's, it looks deceiving. Well, and having the car dealership that has blocked off a ton of parking because they're a car dealership <coughs> pushes it. I mean, like, there's just not that much parking. Uh, no, they don't have a banquet room in the Mexican restaurant. They don't. They don't. I wish they did. All right, 2.30. We've done well. We have done well today. Um, I'm excited to get to see you guys again. There's a lot of stuff going on, a lot of stuff we're working on. Christmas in July is around the corner, like literally around the corner. We got to get busy. We have a lot of stuff to do. <laughs> um... Have you been to Wetumpka? Yes, we have yes. been to Wetumpka. My parents live there. So, um, I grew we have up been there. there. And Shannon's family's from there. Um, we haven't been since they remodeled downtown from the HG. Yes, the we have. HG I've people. been through yes, it, but I have. haven't. I mean, I hadn't rode everything. through it. I mean, I've been to Wetumpka. We did ride through and see what they did, babe. It's all right there. In the, you haven't, like, taken a trip no, for it, I but haven't. it's all, you can see it right from the main drag. I guess You're I was driving, driving so You're I didn't driving. see They've done a lot of outskirt things. They did. But you can see a lot of what they did, like, you know, the main street, when we get off the bridge, the main street is here, and then this street right here, and you can tell it, but they yeah. did do a lot of stuff off of it, too. Did they do anything to um, Coach's Corner? Because uh -huh. I saw that, because um, yeah, that is lot, over they, here. They totally renovated Coach's Corner, and then they did the, like, a facade, and then they also, on the other side of the river, where the tornado went through at, yeah. um, they put a huge new farmer's market in over there. Now, we saw that. They built an open-air farmer's market. I remember seeing Picnic it. tables. What was it we were talking about that was new when we were driving through 14? Because you and I both were I like, remember. I don't remember that. And they, remember. they did a bunch of different <clears throat> houses through downtown. Mm -hmm. Or on not on downtown, on the other bridge side. I watched part of it. I don't. I didn't watch all of it. I should have watched We watched all of it. It was good. I didn't watch it. It was all. really good. Um, they have a beautiful downtown. They, Ben and Aaron were in Laurel, but they did a thing called Hometown Takeover, and they came and re, like, a bunch of different towns applied, and Wetumpka was chosen for the makeover. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure why they chose them, except for the fact that it's extremely quaint, and it's a water town. And I it's... think Wetumpka was in the process of trying to do it all themselves. Well, you know what happened with Wetumpka. And... So they probably felt sorry for him. Because you know what happened when the movie came in? And they did all those fake facades. Fake facade. Well, like mm -hmm. the poor the poor people that have the big fish house. It was all a fake facade, and it was falling apart on them. I never went in it, but my brother told me he had gone in it, and that when you opened the door, there was actually a gap between the door you opened to the actual house because they didn't renovate the house; they just built another one around yeah. it. And like and like the whole top wasn't like a real house. None of it was it, just yeah. a built-on thing. And they show it in the hometown thing, it's just a where movie it set. was like just barely hanging there. <laughs> See, I think that's why they might have chosen yeah. them because, like, you know what they did to the theater where the theater looked incredible for about three months? Yeah. And then it all fell what apart. What was the name of that movie? Big There's Fish. The Big Fish. The big and there fish. was also, um, um, oh gosh. Uh, uh, uh. Hold on. It's a Truman Capote story. Um, oh my God. It's on the tip of my tongue. Uh huh. Because uh, we were there for both of them. It was the. My sister-in-law was in Big Fish. She was an extra. Mm. What's the other Both movie, though, besides movies. Big Fish? Um, I can't remember it. <clears throat> Let Google Shannon find it. Wetumpka is about 40 minutes from Clanton, depending on how you go and what speed you travel. <laughs> well, do you take a shortcut The Grass or not? Harp. Yes, The Grass, the grass harp. harp. Yes, The Grass Harp. Very good movie. <clears throat> Yeah, big fish, um, and for about a split second, you can see my sister-in-law in one <laughs> scene, in one scene. Um, we're really probably 35, 40 minutes from it. Just depends. We take yeah. the back road, so it takes us a little roads. longer. I, I enjoy the back roads. Well, I like the no, view. there's no, like, direct. I mean, you can't get there from the interstate. You're not get, You I mean, can. You kind of have to go around to get there and go but back. But you can't. It's one of those places where, like, you can't get there from here. <laughs> it's like that. If so. you're from here, you don't go to the interstate to get to Wetumpka. 
Well, my mother does. Well, your I do not understand. My mother and my dad. She's not from here. No, but she's from I there. Have, I said, let me show you an easy way. Oh, I just. So she drives all the way down to 231, or all the way down all 231, way all the way around to the interstate, and all the way. Yes, yep. Edna. I mean, I even cut through and go the toll road in Prattville I've sometimes road, just yeah. to avoid the interstate. On <laughs> so, all right. We're going to run. I think we've chatted about a whole bunch of stuff today. I don't think there's anything else to chat about. A couple things I need you to do because I was looking at my analytics today because so many YouTubers keep doing this and I'm like, okay, let me look. Would y'all believe only like 57% of our viewers are subscribed? <gasps> Which, by the way, is a very high number. I was mm. shocked because usually it's a lot less than that. So if you've never subscribed, I think the reason you haven't subscribed is because it's confusing. It sounds like a pay thing. It sounds like you have to pay to do it. You don't. On YouTube, what you do is if you see something you like, a channel you like, not just me, someone else, you click the subscribe button, and that means in your YouTube feed, when you click subscriptions, all the channels you subscribe to, all their new content will be right there for you. So it doesn't cost anything. Just click subscribe. And the second thing that I have found out recently, which is so interesting, and the, the video was really interesting to me, for years we've been told that YouTube doesn't look at thumbs up and thumbs down, like they don't really pay attention to it, but it's, I don't think it's true. And I watched this girl who is like a business advisor, and she was saying the other day she was doing a literal test, and she put out a video just to test it, and the thumbs up really do matter. So here's what that means. If you enjoy a video, if you enjoy a content creator taking their time to make a video, like whatever reason you find positive about the video that you can give it a thumbs up, do that for creators. It's just nice. Although everybody says it's not a thing and it may not be a thing, but what can it hurt? Um, so anyway, subscribe is the big thing. We want to get to 300,000 and I need you to help me get there because with the pandemic rules lifting, I can probably do what I want to do. So I don't want to say what it is, but I'm wanting to do something really cool for a winner or maybe even more than one winner. But we got to get to 300,000 to do it. We're really close, and you guys have been subscribing because the number's been going up pretty quick. So I really appreciate that. So be sure to subscribe. Like, thumbs up a video. Not just me. I'm not just telling y'all to do this for me. Do this for everybody. I've noticed that during the pandemic, it got so heavy and people were so... This sounds bad, but like people are kind of like, you have to earn my thumbs up because we were so, everybody was so in a place, you know what I'm saying? So people that used to get really, really good thumbs up kind of weren't anymore. And I was like, it's not because they're not doing good work or people, just people are tired and we're just too tired to even think about hitting the button. I know. So, and I'm trying to do better at it too, even with my, the people that I watch. So if y'all don't mind, give a thumbs up. We really appreciate it. I, you know, they say that they don't win, but I think they do. And that based on that video that that young lady did, I think it does affect it. So, um, what's the other thing I was going to tell y'all? Subscribe. Oh, if you want to, you can click the notification bell. People tell me it's iffy whether it works or not. So, if you click the notification bell, you can go into it, that little red bell next to subscribe, and you can tell it to send you an email every time I load a video or something like that. If you don't want to do that, just know that if you go to our blog, maymaymadeit.info, every time I do a video, Tamitha does a post. So you can go to my blog and know you're not missing out on any of my videos that way. I'm subscribed over it. Though, Willow, I think that's awesome. I'm subscribed to a lot of channels because I, you'd be surprised the range of things I watch. I'm subscribed to a lot of stuff. So thank you so much. All right, guys, we're going to have prayer together, and um, there is no, I, I'm glad you asked that, Susan. There is no monetary value to that. There's no, we, we don't get anything because of the number of subscribers we have. We don't get anything because of the number of thumbs up we have. We don't get anything because if people um, set the bell. The, the thing that um, affects us is ads and watch time, and that's pretty common because YouTube, you can go learn about that on YouTube. There's people who do videos about it, but no, none of that affects us like that. What it does do if my video is seen and gets a lot of thumbs up, then YouTube will go, this must be really good. We'll put it in the featured. And if I get put in the featured, then more people find out about us. So that does happen. I do know that happens. They say it doesn't, but it flat does. <laughs> yes, and Discord's another way. Join our Discord because I have a robot over there that every time a video goes live on YouTube, it gives you a notice that I'm live on YouTube. Or a video goes up, it'll tell you that too. All right, who's praying? You want to since I've been sure. running my mouth? It doesn't matter, but if you want to, you can. I'll do it. Um, 
Vinny's going to say pray for us. If you have a specific need, you can head over to our Facebook group called Hide His Word in My Heart. And you, if you want to be specific about your need, you can share that with, uh, with us over there. And we have an incredible group of prayer warriors over there that will pray with and for you. And um, Vinny's going to pray, pray for you guys today on the show. And, um, yeah, let's, let's pray. All right, let's do that. Hey, guys, thank you so much for all the blessings that you give us, Lord. You have been so good to us and so faithful and uh, have just done more for us than we could ever imagine. God, I pray that today, those that are watching, I ask God that you would just bless them for spending their time with us. I pray, God, that they or that you will let them know just what a blessing they are to us. Lord, we just ask today that you be with those that are hurting, those that are struggling financially because of uh, all of the mess that we've been dealing with over the last uh, 18 months. Lord, I just pray that, that your peace and your presence would be with each person. God, I know there's a lot of people that are struggling with uh, physical uh, ailments, and I just ask God that you would be with them and let them know that you are the great physician and that, that you're working to help them. God, we just, we just can't praise you and thank you enough for all you do for us. And we just ask God that today's time that we've spent with our friends here on YouTube has been a blessing to them just like it's been a blessing to us. And we give you all the praise and all the honor and glory. For we ask it in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. I do have two things I have to say. Number one, I got to meet Shanielle this week. That yeah. was exciting, wasn't it? Yes. Shannon and Danielle came to visit. We got to meet her. And also, I want to say a special hello to Parker. Parker is um, a seven-year-old viewer who came to visit us this week brought her grandparents that's how i'm gonna put it she brought her grandparents here so that was really cool so we're really excited to meet her plus all our other visitors but it was really cool to get to meet parker um because i don't think about the fact that we have young people that watch and, and she brought a craft in she'd made it was really cool just warms my heart i love to see that next generation of crafters right so it was really cool so hey parker hope you're enjoying your vacation with your grandparents and i hope chanel's having a great time because she's at the beach that's where oh, she was yeah. headed so all right, guys, we love you very much. And until next time, bye now. Did you get your wave in early? Oh, do your wave. Bye you now. You want to wave in early? <laughs>